So um, people, I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I am doing a second vlog with this particular person because she is amazing and she's also a grassroots ambassador at the MEY 2019. So stay tuned for this one because this is going to be super special with Ali Al Mansuri. And there we go guys, we've got Ali Al Mansuri. Thank you for joining us Alia. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Uh, this is actually our second vlog together because the first one was almost let's say like a soft launch of the Middle East Youth Expo. Yeah. That's where it all happened. So yeah, this is or honestly another amazing moment for me. Thank you so much again. Thank you for having me. And uh, so Alia, before we're going to get into all of the other stuff that we discussed earlier, what do you think about Huzza Al Mansuri being in space? Oh, where do I begin? Um, I'm, I'm so excited. Growing up, there was no, you know, Emirati astronaut to look up to, and you know, you always had to look, look for that person who's related to space to look up to. And now, you know, I have that person, Hazar. He's an amazing person. I've met him before, and you know, I'm I'm so glad that he's the first Emirati astronaut because he's so humble. He's yeah. very smart, and um, I just I'm so excited to where the future is going, especially for the space sector. Amazing. I mean, for, honestly, for me, the first girl who was going into space was Ali Al Mansouri. Because <laughs> that's how I started my vlog the first time, remember? Yeah. Until she corrected me. So yeah. Uh, but inshallah, hopefully Asala, that's going to yes, happen soon. Yes. Uh, so what really inspired you to uh, get you involved in science? I know you have an inclination towards Star Wars, mm -hmm. but apart from that, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but apart from that, what really got you into science? Um, I mean, I just I loved science ever since I was a really small kid. I don't remember a specific moment exactly, but I do remember. I think I said this in the previous vlog as well. I'm creative, I swear. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but my brother, he told me when I was younger, he said, "Alia, you're an alien." And I remember thinking, like, what is out there in the universe? And I think curiosity is what really drove yeah. this love for science because science is so everything is so symmetrical yet chaotic at the same time. Exactly. And everything is so. Um, it's so different, you know, and when you, once you start understanding these things about the universe, you start saying, well, there's so much more that we don't know. So I think that's, I, that's what I love about science and that's what caught me That's That is amazing. I mean, yes, you're right. You actually did mention this earlier. Yes. <laughs> uh, but tell me, what is your next goal? We do know that your genes in space happen. What's mm -hmm. your next goal that you're working towards, Alia? Right, so right now I work as a research fellow scientist at New York University in Abu Dhabi. Okay. Um, so I'm just an intern, but I work with an amazing, um, he's, he's a biologist, a stem cell biologist, and we work together to look at stem cell differentiation, specifically for fat cells. His name is Dr. Mohammed Asayil. So I work at his lab now, um, and that's, that's what I'm doing, but I'm graduating high school this year. So I'm looking wow, that's to big. That. Yeah. that is big. Managing yes. all of that together, how do you really do all of this? Like I know she was, she was, she just got in from school now, right? Yeah. And and she's right here. So how do you really <laughs> manage to multitask all of that? I mean, like it's so hard, obviously, because there are a lot. Of, there's a lot to do. Um, but I think one important thing is to keep your mind focused. And for me, is to do jujitsu. That helped me get my mind. Oh my God! What all does Alia do actually? <laughs> so jujitsu, you've got there. You've got your science going. You've got yeah. your school going. What else? What else? What else do you? I mean, I love poetry. Oh and my God! Drawing. <laughs> it's important for me to find something other than science to resonate with. Okay. Um, and jujitsu has been that for me. So every time I feel like I'm being stressed out from school or whatever it is, when I do jujitsu, whatever is on the mat is just what's on the mat, nothing else. And so that's going to that be my next me. thing. I'm going to start doing jujitsu do to jiu make sure yeah. to get rid of <laughs> all of that stress, right? Yeah. Amazing. I do know that you've been quite uh, active when it comes to the UN sustainability goals. So yes. which one of that do you think, do you really vouch for? Mm -hmm. uh, apart from all of them, all of them are really important for sure, but yes. apart from all of that. And um, give us the one thing, why would you want to support that goal? So. Um, a very big issue right now around the world and I believe is the biggest issue is inequality in access to education. Okay. So there are a lot of students around the world or kids who have unequal access to education uh, whether it is because of war or because they're in an underdeveloped country. Yeah. Um, regardless of what that reason is, not being, not having access to education is a very big problem and it's the root to all other problems that we are facing right now such as climate change or uh, terrorism, all of these things, they all root from 
lack of education. So this is why I find it um, as a responsibility for me to educate the youth, um, maybe in my community or in, in my country, about science and the importance of science. Yeah. Um, you know, limit down the misconceptions and help people get excited about wanting to learn more and wanting to follow their passions. And it's something that I really hope to bring to a global scale to have more people be interested in science and whatever they're passionate about really to really have um, a solid solid education and I know that we're far from perfect or far from having that currently but if more countries focus on that as their yeah. main goal then I think that we'd be in the right place. That's amazing I mean honestly you really inspire me since the first time we met as well um, and I hope that inspiration actually spreads all across to our youth yeah. We're going to move into some rapid fire rounds. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, brilliant. Your inspiration? My mom. <laughs> no pressure at all. <laughs> okay. She's right there. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, my mom. Okay, your favorite sitcom? How I Met Your Mother. Wow, okay. You actually have time to watch it. Brilliant. I don't even know how. <laughs> favorite book? Uh, that's the hardest question. <laughs> Sapiens. Okay. Yeah. Uh, space or Earth? Earth is in space. So. Oh man, space. I, I am so dumb. So I'm so <laughs> dumb. Anyways, moving on. Are you excited about the Middle East Youth Expo 2019? Very excited. Brilliant. Yeah. Alia, we've got that in common and hopefully I'm sure most of you guys are going to be there. Alia is going to be there. I'm going to be there and a lot of our ambassadors and speakers. Amazing panel. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, hope to see you there. <laughs> yes. Till then, guys, it's Hami Vlogs and Ali Al Mansouri signing off. Bye. Cheerio.